ஹலோ மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் அண்ட் குட் ஈவினிங் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்காரா வணக்கம் தீஸ் ஆர் த ஒன்லி லாங்குவேஜஸ் ஐ நோ ஸோ ஃபார் கிவ் மீ ஃபார் தட் ஐ எம் ட்ரைங் டு லேர்ன் மோர் நியூ லாங்குவேஜஸ் ஹோப்ஃபுல்லி ஐ மீட் யுவர் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் சம் டைம் வெரி சூன் ஹவ் யூர் ஆல் டூயிங் ஐ ஹோப் யூர் ஆல் டூயிங் குட் பிகாஸ் இன் லைஃப் தெர் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் தெர் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி இஷ்யூஸ் பட் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபேஸ் தட் இஸ் த ரியாலிட்டி because of the problems because of the issues if you are going to have mood swings bad moods and depressed and unhappy and all that you can never be a happy person you can never be a joyful person because always any direction you change you will find some or other things that is bothering you some things you have to ignore some things you have to consider because you have to resolve some things you have to overcome because why the battle is too hard for you to face and this is exactly what we are dealing through these motivational topics um these sessions many of you have, have appreciated that it is very very helpful therefore i am not winding up initially i started it very playfully just to tell the little that i know i stopped with 10 sessions then people said do some more i start to stopped with 20 sessions and people said do some more then now we are 100 plus and uh, i'm very very proud of what we are doing here because it is helping people nothing else okay once again a warm welcome and today yet another topic yet another day yet another session what is this topic in life every problem that you face has a solution i am repeating it again in life every problem you face has a solution there isn't any problem that has no solution at all i will talk about the extremity of having no solution how to deal with it because there are problems where solution is there but you cannot implement it so i will talk about that also going to be a very short session we will close on time another 5 6 minutes now life is all about changes and every change is going to be never easy for any human being in fact what is the most hateful thing for any human being is changes do not disturb me right my house my boundaries my car my pussy cat my pet dog all these things right and they don't like disturbances they don't like changes 8 out of 10 people why because they like to be in comfort zone technically that is not wrong right i won't get uh, really hard at such people you also shouldn't be because if you look uh, at your parents who were uh, working in the uh, 1960s 1970s every one of them would have been in a mechanical work garment factories um, there are a lot of lathe lathe in the sense the uh, what is the diesel engine spare parts and all that they make right bolts uh, screws and uh, nozzles and all that a lot of people get into the uh, real hard working of sir you know rotating the spindle and all that now uh, some people in uh, engineering line civil engineering construction and all that but uh, 9 out of 10 categories are really mechanical they are static jobs they keep repeating the same job time and again there won't be drastic changes only thing is yes they invent new things for example a way of building a bridge uh, there is a difference how they built it in 1960s versus now what they are doing right now it is like being built in parts those days they act- actually built in a molded kind of shape so except for those changes there isn't big variation therefore the mindset was something like this like enough for me whatever i earn is enough one new one one house one uh, you know bicycle or something like that always people used to go by bicycle only that's why they remained very healthy <laughs> and that's why they live long why because they have consistent effort to burn their calories nowadays everywhere we take a two wheeler bike or we have a car or something like that and we don't uh, walk and go and stuff like that so you look at their lifestyle the, they had every they did they not made, make any stupendous efforts to burn calories or stay healthy or live long it was part of their system except for few genetical disorders here and there people lived very healthy people were in their comfort zone people loved that static kind of job no problem they need a job that's all but now what happens is especially after millennium after this e-commerce world and internet took a spark and 5 2g well, they, they introduced wow 2g then 3g my god 3g and 4g now 5g and people are talking about 10g it's not enough speed is not enough right those days i remember clicking the internet it will be keep on rotating rotating i had all the patience to wait because i understood the limitation of internet there is no 
uh, you know gnashing the teeth or biting the nail but now if i see the same wheel i really go mad at the television feel like pelting the television with a stone that too in the middle of a cricket about you know surya kumar yadav about to hit a sixer and uh, immediately it hangs up no i really go mad what is the reason for this mind change in mindset the reason for the change in mindset is world has changed world has become dynamic in the sense world has marched forward world has really grown ahead technology technically functionally you know technologically they have really grown look at the medical industry those days only one thing ultrasound they have that's it you know then they introduce ct scan then they introduce mr which is even more accurate mr scan then lot of blood tests have been refined new blood tests have been introduced and all that now if you go with the problem right the, it is just like a cake walk for any doctor to discover 8 out of 10 problems whatever you have couple of problems yeah they are not able to diagnose there not all the problems as a solution also that i will cover in a moment right but in life every problem has a solution but not all problems as a solution that you can discover immediately it will take time that's why i'm giving you this example whatever the medical science medical industry was not able to discover many years ago many decades ago they are able to discover for which time was given many decades were given and they discovered solutions for those problems which they could not discover at that point of time correct so the very reason for many problems as such or issues as such you face is you are not coping up with the change you are not sailing in the same pace you are really adamant you are really stubborn you are you are a hard nut to crack i'm really not condemning anyone i'm really not judgmental on anyone but i'm telling you if you have a problem if you have if you are in that category where i have only problems some of these issues are not winding up if you are in that category the problem is not a problem the problem is actually you correct it's your attitude it's your mindset the way how you look at things correct secondly what we want to say is when you hit a problem do not get emotional emotional in the sense you know for example any problem that hits you immediately you get irritated annoyance annoyance is a factor which really releases certain chemicals from your body and uh, chemicals will rea- make you react as a short tempered person as a person who is out of control who lacks self control who really want to get violent right no no some guys can never be controlled immediately they will start you know uh, thrashing somebody or banging somebody and all that very bad attitude you cannot survive for too long you will get killed what if you get short tempered in the middle of your driving and all that you go and crash against a truck because of you your family also will be killed this is not good and that's how the body reaction is all about you know chemical reaction your system works that way so that's why we always advise first of all when you face a problem calm down calm down how do you calm down make the statement to yourself every problem in my life has a solution i will find it out this is what you need to tell if you want to make this statement 20 times to make you yourself feel better make that statement 20 times 100 times make it no problem you have to somehow come out of it correct that's the ultimate objective here what is that in life every problem has a solution and i am going to find it out i am going to dig it out this problem will not survive for too long and no problem is permanent you want to write it down somewhere write it take a print out in bigger font and paste it anywhere you want if you have that problem i always get emotional i always get worked up the moment i see a problem right many people are in that category you know who they are i am also i am also one of those i was also one of those i am also one of those now also i battle with certain problems i cannot immediately take it in a positive manner and embrace and give it a tight hug and kiss saying that hey problem welcome i will find a solution no i cannot do that there are certain problems which will really irritate me but i have found these ways to overcome methods to overcome and that keeps me going i am calm no problem right because not without an effort i am calm right effortless uh, being effortless can never make you a person with full of composure and calmness attitude and all that impossible you need to make effort every human being right we all have weakness in the flesh and secondly what you should do is start working on the solution do not immediately turn and see it's irritating you know already it's irritating right you don't don't have to lick a poison and then ah yes it's a poison i'll be dead and gone now <laughs> you can't do that right nobody is so stupid right you know it's a poison it's clearly written it's poisonous do not touch keep it out of reach from your children you won't keep it on the dining table 
and then you would not make your uh, five year old toddler to taste it and all that you're not so stupid right so likewise you definitely know that problem has irritated you once why are you enjoying that irritation for the second time let the problem continue no problem keep it at a distance keep the problem at a distance do not bring it under a, uh, you know microscopic uh, lens and magnify the problem keep the problem at a distance is the second principle thirdly as the problem is still going on in your life keep working on a solution it could be a health issue find the right doctor go work with him right he might advise you on a change in lifestyle or food habits or walking or whatever right start working with him the fourth principle give it enough time give it sufficient time for the problem to resolve give yourself the sufficient time give the problem and the solution sufficient time right the problem will settle down because solution will you know starts taking its troll isn't it as the solution starts you know getting implemented upon the problem it will slowly diminish it will slowly vanish and one point of time you will be searching for problems and that problem won't be existing why because your solution has become so powerful how many of you are with me correct what i'm telling is making sense these four principles always remember give it enough time look for solution keep the problem at a distance don't keep bring it under the magnifying glass and always don't get emotional the moment i told in a reverse order you can make it in the ascending order correct i told in the reverse order do not take it very emotional the moment the problem hits because you are not the only person the fifth principle is very nice principle always tell this you will feel very glad very good why because that's how the human attitude is if i alone am suffering then i'll get very emotional personal no? why alone for me and all that always imagine this you are not the only one having problems in life you turn around you will find 10 different people having 10 worser problems than what you are having so you should always feel happy about it that not only me along with me the entire mankind is sailing in this problematic world and i will discover the problem and i will find a fix for this problem okay now i am done with this i'm i'll be i'll take one extra minute now there are certain problems where you have a solution or you may not have a solution what do you do about that in the sense you have a solution but the circumstance is not really favorable enough that you can implement the solution how do you deal with this you really need to have patience what else you really need to have tolerance and patience my dear beloved friend my dear brother my sister listening to me tolerance and, but that's an extreme case i'll tell you what if you have 10 problems eight of them is solvable don't worry i'm very confident because i've done enough research in the with my google and stanford has released the uh, statistics and all that it definitely tells eight out of 10 problem can be resolved but the two problems are unique cases for example you cannot resolve a problem that is related to you know political world that is related to an economical reformation Uh, topic or that is related to a law that has been passed what do you do about that tell me tolerance and patience are the two tools that you have to plug it in your brains screw it this side and screw it this side enough <laughs> it will be all good you cannot change the world as an individual and you know what after a period of time you will get used to it you will get adjusted to it why because again the same mantra you are not the only one facing the problem every one of them are facing and not all of them are cribbing and as uh, standing with a long face like a train engine no now they are able to move along right or uh, cope 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 up with this uh, new change you also should be able to do it right which you cannot implement it impossible you know so one or two problems will you cannot find a solution you have to just wait right you have to do it i'm telling you but there are only one or two problems out of 10 eight of them you can resolve that's a good news and the other one is you have invented a solution but you cannot implement it at this point of time you have to wait for the right timing you have to wait for the right season you have to wait for the right circumstance correct or not again only those two factors patience and tolerance until the timing comes until the season comes you have control over that solution and you need to wait for the timing right all of a sudden while going on a straight road simply just like that you cannot put your right indicator and uh, you know hit the barricade or hit the divider you will get killed and you will kill other another 10 people coming behind you correct or not you cannot do things at your own will and wish there is a timing needed right and the timing is very important to implement that solution which you cannot implement right away and you also know that so until then patience and tolerance these are the two important tools you have to abide all right i don't have anything else to talk on these lines i repeat one thing 
in life every problem has a solution i will definitely find a fix for it this is exactly what you should do whenever you hit a problem we justified why problems are arising in this dynamic world that we are living world is moving really faster technology has really grown right it's very tough to invent the first level of technology first scale of technology but now we are in the 10th or 5th 10th or 15th level so what happens is to progress forward see to lay the foundation and build one story in the building is really difficult but then making it 20 stories is very easy like that technology laid its foundation somewhere in 1990s and in 2000s it really took to the second or third story now it is in 100th story or something like that why because it's easy to build it's easy to scale up that's how it is it's a changing world and now the world will change at a faster pace compared to what you had seen in 1990s the reason is this and therefore you have this mindset don't get dismayed don't get discouraged be a happy person be a joyful person anything is resolvable all right god bless you please subscribe to our channel share with your friends whomever had not watched such were such videos please share it's going to help the mankind this is only going to encourage them all right god bless you i'll meet you soon bye